Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shernice and welcome back to Simply Nikwa. So today, I decided to do something fun and something that I haven't done in a long time. So, if you haven't figured out from the title, I am going to tie-dye a couple of garments today. So, I'm really excited to do this. Like I said, I haven't done it in a while, like since the fifth grade. And I just really wanted to do it. So, if you want to continue watching and watch my process of how I did my tie-dye and how my experience of doing it if you want to watch that go ahead sit back and relax continue watching but before you do how about go down below and subscribe to my youtube channel and also give me a like as well and yeah so let's get started with this video <laughs> So for this week I was inspired to do some tie-dye and I really really love the tie-dye look and I wanted to do tie-dye on different types of garments and I wanted to tie-dye black clothing so I chose to tie-dye a black t-shirt, a black tank top, and some black shorts. So I really needed to figure out some different designs or tie-dye techniques to rubber band on these clothes so for the t-shirt I decided to do like this heart shape look I had to cut out a paper heart and leave it folded so it'd be in half and then fold the shirt in half and then I traced around there and then I will the uh, pinched up together in different look little pleats around the heart to hopefully get that heart shape when I tie dye it and then I applied rubber bands on the rest I never make promises then for the tank top, I wanted a reverse tie-dye technique. All I did was pinched it at the bottom and then gather it up all the way throughout the whole shirt to make a tubular shape. And I applied some rubber bands along there. <laughs> For the shorts, I really just wanted to do a swirling type of method. I thought it'd be really cool for on the shorts. I didn't know what else to do. So I did that and applied some rubber bands on the low. So next, I went outside to do the bleaching process. Since I have black shirts, I needed to bleach it first. So hopefully the color can get onto the clothing. So I put the bleach onto the t-shirt and there you go you'll see it's turning already the bleach is working lovely and I'll put it on the shorts and it wasn't really turning like the shirt did especially very fast paced like the shirt so obviously there I know I'm it's gonna go downhill from here and then I went ahead and put the shirt the tank top down and it was not taking the bleach at all and so I was getting sad because I will only have one tie-dye shirt and I really wanted to do everything in black so yeah there's a problem already and I poured a whole lot of bleach onto the shorts and the tank top and it and bleach wasn't affecting it at all and the end result it did not do anything to the shorts or tank top okay I can show you right now this is the tank top I put bleach on it washed it and it's still a black t-shirt okay no effect on it nothing no dots no nothing it's still a black tank top I'm still gonna wear it but like I wanted it to tie dye after I realized it was it was polyester so bleach does not affect polyester or at least this tank top it didn't and so I thought that was just a really cool result to tell you about um, that how bleach did not affect us at all and even though I know it's supposed to be cotton I know I know so but I just wanted to tell you and the shorts as well they are still black as day even the white uh, and the gray was not affected by the bleach at all but yeah with this day one bleaching process I wanted to still tie dye something else to see what um, the outcome of it so I had another like blue shirt as well so I tie dyed that with this and so to the next process I was ready for the color so the tie dye colors that I used or chose and or was only available was um, a red a green and a blue and I squirted the 
different colors on the different sections of the shirt. Obviously you see the colors more onto the bluer shirt that I have, this or greener shirt that I have. And um, and you can still kind of see the colors in my black shirt, but just a little bit darker. So I you know, I was I was getting devastated, but I wasn't losing hope. So I let that sit overnight. <laughs> of the blue shirt after I tied on it it's like spotted everywhere it's like not anything specific I don't know what happened here but it's still pretty cool tie-dye effect on it and I thought it was good now I have the black tie-dye shirt on right here but I'll show it more closely so you can see this is what my um, heart shape technique tie-dye effect onto this shirt I thought it you kind of really see like the heart um, on the shirt kind of but it's not really prominent but I really like that like red dot right in the middle it's like the heart is beating or something I don't know it's crazy but I really like how the tie the bleach end on the shirt really affected the black I really like that look but you can see here the colors kind of got on it like the red really showed up and the blue kind of some spots you can see the colors on it but it didn't really colorify the shirt much so darn it darn it but I still really really like the shirt and I'm glad I did this tie-dye day number two so I couldn't go out with just that and I really wanted to show my tie-dye capabilities and really see if I can really tie-dye something like I really wanted to see the tie-dye so uh, the next day I got some actually white 100% cotton white shirts because I was not gonna bleach again and so I still have some dye from yesterday and I wasn't gonna go out like that so I tie-dyed some more shirts this time too white and so I wanted to try Try to perfect that heart shaped again so I did a heart shaped technique on one of the white shirts and then on the other shirt to make it different I rubber band just the bottom of the shirt and then the sleeves to make it look different and just have the top part of the chest area white so I went outside tie-dye that I still have the same colors that I did yesterday and I put some of that color on there and bada boom bada bang it's cool I got my hands all dyed up again but that's okay and so here's the results of my white t-shirts um obviously you can see like this one's the heart shape one and it didn't really come out to a well it was surprising um, that it didn't. Maybe I have the rubber bands tight enough. I don't know. But it still has this cool like swirl effect to it surprisingly. So it's pretty cool still. And then here is the tie-dye effect on the sleeves and on the bottom of the shirt. And it came out okay. It um, still looks cool. And I, it's still tie-dye. And um, I think it's still okay. So that is the result of my tie-dye process, my tie-dye experience. Um, it sure was a full experience um, and was a whole big process. I totally recommend you to tie-dye some shirts, bleach some shirts, some black shirts to tie-dye them or tie-dye a white shirt or something like that. And if you do, go down below and give this video a like. And before you go, how about also go down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. And that will be great i really had a blast doing this video so thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you back next week with something awesome as well keep having a great day or a great night and i'll catch you later bye